Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another 10 pens currently in this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have the Banu Euphoria Goulet exclusive and this is the Earl Grey Tea. We have the Mont Blanc Le Petit Prince Aviator Solitaire Duo. We have a Mont Blanc Brothers Grimm. Uh, we have a Mont Blanc Sir Arthur Conan Doyle 1902 edition. We have an Anoto, and this is the uh, Queen's Jubilee in sterling silver. We have an Anoto Coronation in sterling silver. We have an Anoto uh, David Copperfield. We have uh, an Anoto, and this is the Great Roof Metallic edition. We have an Anoto, and this is the... Uh, Magna Classic in the Chased Amber Pearl. And then we have a, a Noto, and this is the Christmas Carol 2023 edition in the Silver Gilding. So I think let's look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So we have the Banu uh, Euphoria. This is the Goulet edition, uh, retail ed uh, special uh, limited edition. And this is uh, the... Uh, Earl Grey Tea. Now I say uh, limited edition, it's limited to, or special edition limited to Goulet only, but it's not a, a numbered edition. Uh, it was sold out and uh, I've not checked since to see uh, since Christmas, but it's sold out around the uh, Christmas period. Uh, it's a beautiful pen and uh, I have to say I am partial to Earl Grey Tea and Lady Grey Tea and I really like uh, the colour of this pen. And I like that it's also got tea leaves uh, and lavender infused within the cap and the body there. It really is a beautiful pen. I think really Banu have done something special with this pen. Uh, I got this uh, with a broad nib. And um, I. the reason why I wanted a broad nib, I don't really normally go for broad nibs much nowadays. But I knew I wanted to put an orange ink in here and I got Dominant Industry Earl Grey Tea, which is an orange, not a grey. Uh, so I wanted something that was going to stand out a little bit more. So I have uh, that inked up in, in this pen still this week. Um, but you can see in the cap there, you can see the the Earl Grey uh, tea leaves infused in that resin. I really think it's, it's a beautiful pen. And you can probably see there a little bit more as I rotate it that... Uh, you've got that Earl Grey tea and blue lavender there as well. Uh, beautiful pen. So uh, I'm really liking uh, this pen combination. Uh, I, I do need to look at Goulet because I, I would like a second one. And I don't normally do pens uh, where I have multiples. But I would probably actually do it with this pen because it's a nice looking pen. The next pen inked up, which I am really loving, is the Mont Blanc uh, Le Petit Prince, uh, or Little Prince. Uh, this is the Solitaire Aviator Due Edition. Um, this is a beautiful pen. Uh, platinum uh, body here. Uh, a brown leather cap. And you've got like the plane on here. You've got the sands. You've got a planet. And then you've got all this uh, beautiful stitching there as well on the rear of the cap. Um, beautiful pen. Uh, I do like it a lot. It's a heavy pen. It uh, has Le Petit Prince on uh, the, uh, the constellation there on uh, the nib. Um, these are not designed to be posted, unfortunately. But it's a decent size. It is a heavy, heavy pen. So for me, this is a, a quite uh, a nice pen to write with because I do like uh, thicker more girthier pens and I do like more heavier pens so I have that one inked up again this week as well and uh, I will probably uh, have that inked up for some time uh, likewise this one which is the uh, Mont Blanc homage to the Brothers Grimm who wrote a load of um, story tales or fairy tales for kids uh, a lot of them uh, like Hansel and Gretel um, a lot of them were quite dark in terms of for kids but um they were all fairy tales that 
probably most of us will remember from our our kids uh, life when we were kids but um it is a, a beautiful um beautiful pen and uh i hadn't I don't think i'd actually noticed that before there there is a signature there as well brothers grim uh, and you've actually got the, the the two brothers signatures there so uh, this is quite a nice it's like a bark uh effect going on um i love the size the weight of this uh, you've also got uh, special uh, engraving on the nib, which Mont Blanc do with all of their writer's editions, uh, which is good to see that they actually do a different nib stamp for each each edition, because that in itself costs a lot of money. And I think that's probably why that these Mont Blanc writer's editions are actually normally more pricey, uh, because of the cost of that um, die that they have to make. Um it is a, a nice pen. I do find these sections a little bit on the shorter side, though. So I am holding this norm, normally around the threads here. You can't post the cap. It is a piston-filling pen. But uh, I do like uh, this pen a lot. And very glad that I got that. Uh, all of these three Mont Blancs I picked up for around about 40 to 50% off. Typically, Mont Blanc retailers are not allowed to discount. If they do, it's only normally, like, 30 40 50 pound euro dollar it's not a huge amount uh but these i got at really good prices uh they were sold out editions pretty much so uh i think at that point uh, retailers can uh reduce maybe i'm not sure the exact terms around the mont blanc um retail ship but i know it's frowned upon for them to to discount the next pen that I also have inked up, I had inked up last week, is the Mont Blanc. And this is the uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle 1902 edition. It's not the cheaper version. It's the mid-range version of pen. Uh, I like that it's in a brown, not a blue-gray. It's a resin. It's got a wood cap um, to really sort of show the, sm um, the smoker's pipe. Um, it has... Uh, a lovely mother of pearl star there and you also have instead of jb initials in the magnifying glass you have a baskerville hound and uh, this is quite nice now i'm going to try and find here i always struggle um you've got if i turn around here you've got victoria street here which i don't know if you can see that in the camera but victoria street and um you've also got uh baker street here as well on on the cap so um it does have a, a number of different sort of london marks there um which i i think is a nice touch uh the the pen is a decent size of my hand again you can't post the cap on this unfortunately um but again it has uh it actually has a, an emblem of um uh, sir arthur conan doyle engraved onto that nib uh it's a decent size it's a little bit thinner than the um aviator a little petit france and the brothers grim but i'm still liking this pen a lot um i do think though that a lot of the mont blanc uh writers editions are well overpriced for what they are but i can understand that they do do a lot to theme the pen and they do a lot in terms of like having the a, a new nib die a new nib imprint for every single uh, edition of, of their uh, writer's edition pens, which also isn't cheap as well. So I can understand that that probably uh, bumps the price up fairly substantially as well. Bearing in mind that probably most of these, are, you're only going to have maybe four, 5,000, maybe 10,000 pens made on that one die. So um, it, it's a high cost, I'm guessing, to... To do a separate nib imprint it's not laser uh, engraved the next pen inked up is uh my anoto and this is the um the queen's platinum jubilee and this is in sterling silver and i really do love this pen it was a pen that i picked up in june last year uh it was like three months into my back injury and i really couldn't drive very far because my back was in so much pain. 
Um, but I did meet up with Inota and I picked this up and the Coronation pen at the same time. Uh, glad that I did. Um, I still was in a bit of pain after the trip for about a week. But uh, very glad that I picked these up because these are beautiful pens. Very, very sturdy, very solid pens. Comes with a plunger filler. I have since put cartridge converters on these. Uh, and it's got a number 7 size Anoto 18 cat gold nib. Um, you, you, you can post the cap on here. It's going to be very back weighted. So I, I normally I wouldn't want to do that. Um, and um, I can probably polish this up a little bit. It's looking in some areas a little bit marked perhaps. Um, but I think they, the silver polishes up quite nicely. So I probably do need just to polish that up a little bit more. Because uh, I've not polished it in probably six months, I'm guessing. The next pen, uh, which I picked up at the same time, was the uh, King's Coronation pen. And uh, I was really more after the Queen's pen. Um, but when I saw the pattern on this pen, I was in awe. Because it's such a beautiful, beautiful pattern there. That it really has a lot of work going on in it. Uh, again, sterling silver, 925 that you can see there, hallmark, um, beautiful pen, and um, you can see the king's coronation there. Uh, and again, a number eight size, sorry, seven size, uh, 18 cat gold nib from Anoto. Again, comes with a plunger filler. Um, I have got a cartridge converter in here at the moment. And um, you again, you can post the cap, um, and it will post, but it's going to be very back weighted. So um, it's not something really that I would post a lot. And um, as I said, this silver can polish up even just in your own hand or um, in in the um, uh, with a microfiber cloth. But I do have silver polishing cloths as well. So I will probably go over that and just polish those up a little bit more. Uh, but those are beautiful pens. And still uh, in awe that I have them in my collection, I... I have a lot of pens, but this um, that those pens are really beautiful pens. The next pen I have inked up here is uh, a pen that I um, I don't think I've shown it since I bought it, and this is an Anoto. It's the Magna Classic in the David Copperfield, uh, and you see that Anoto, beautiful pinstripe, grey and black. Uh, I really do like this pen. And um, I, I do think uh, this um, here, this pen, uh, let me show you close up. This is the Christmas cowl. And although they've got silver gilding on it, I think it, they should have put the silver here in, in the, um, uh, instead of the, the tortoise shell. Uh, but this is a beautiful, beautiful material. And really, I, I do like this. I picked this up secondhand uh, from, I think, I think it was Roy at Izod's. Um, it's got a uh, number seven size 18 cat gold nib. It's a cartridge converter pen. And um, I can post the cap if I want to. Uh, very, very nice. Quite elegant looking pen. And not over the top. Um, maybe like some of these other pens are. But it's a, a beautiful pen. So... Um, I, I actually, I bought this uh, just before Christmas, a couple of days before Christmas it arrived, and uh, I, <laughs> I I wrote with it into early January, and then I misplaced or lost the pen, uh, and it actually rolled off my desk in its cap, uh, onto the floor, and then under my desk, and after turning uh, the house upside down for a couple of hours, I did find the pen, thankfully, uh, but uh, it was a little bit of a... Uh, an experience um, trying to find that pen. The next pen uh, inked up is again another Anoto, and this is the Great Roof Metallic Edition pen. Uh, it is an Anoto there, um, and I picked this up from Royal Izod's uh, second hand. It was a custom made pen. Typically, this is the British Museum, but it doesn't have British Museum there on the cap band. But all of this pattern would normally not be filled in with this metallic uh, and it would just be black. Uh, so I'm glad that this uh, I was able to pick this one up. Uh, again, it's a number 7 size 18 karat gold. I've got a medium nib there. 
and um, I can post the cap if I want to as well. So that posts uh, quite uh, deeply and securely. And it just feels right in uh, the size of my hand. It has a slight weight to, I think it has a counterweight uh, in the body there. Uh, just adds a little bit more weight to the pen, which, which I do prefer actually, because um, I do like weightier pens. Uh, this Anoto doesn't have that counterweight uh, in, I think it adds like, I want to say, I want to say probably seven or eight grams maybe, it might be more, um, but this is an Anoto, it's a Magna Classic in the chased amber, uh, a beautiful, beautiful pen, you can see this chasing up front, it really is nice, that pearlescent amber pearl there is also very lovely. And if I unscrew the cap, uh, cartridge converter again. I've got a number seven size, a Noto 18 cat gold medium nib there. Um, I do find though this is a little bit more on the light side for me. Uh, I kind of feel it a bit better when I post that cap because it adds a bit more weight or back weight to the pen. Uh, I think I would have liked this. If I bought this brand new, I probably would have said, could you put the... Um, uh, uh, body uh, barrel weights, the brass insert into the pen. Maybe I can retrospectively get that fitted. Um, I'm not sure I'd want to send the pen off though and, and wait a few weeks if that was what it would take. Um, but maybe I'll talk to Anoto and see uh, what uh, can be done. Can can I buy the brass inserts and does it... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you glue it in probably with a... a um, resin glue um but is it difficult to do can i do it myself if so i probably would buy some of those brass inserts and do it myself and then the last pen inked up is this one and it's the anoto christmas cow 2023 in silver gilding and silver trim you see anoto coin finial but this really is a beautiful beautiful uh design pen I got this in this silver gilding and silver trim and the gold gilding and gold trim as well. Um, really do like this. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful pen with this tortoise sort of tortoiseshell kind of color. Um, and then I got a, a number seven size Anoto 18 karat gold uh, medium nib there. I am preferring medium nibs more nowadays. Uh, I can post the cap. Um, now this, I want to say, does this have the, does this have the back weight? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. It's uh, just the resin on its own. It is a cartridge converter pen, um, but yeah, it's not a bad weight. I would say maybe slightly weighter than this one, perhaps not by much, but um, it, it is a, a nice pen. Uh, I think if you put the brass inner liner in there, it might distract and darken some of that tortoiseshell. So uh, I, I think it's probably better not to have that brass insert in there, to be honest. So there you have it. That's my 10 pens currently inked for this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So I think let's take a look at the first pen. So this is the Banu Euphoria Earl Grey T from Goulet and we'll do uh, an ink swatch here and you can see this is quite a broad nib it's uh, looking quite nice uh, I do like this orange ink in here so this is the Banu uh, Euphoria I nearly couldn't actually do a U there Euphoria and it's the Earl Grey T And it's a broad and it's a steel Schmidt nib. And uh, the ink in here is uh, dominant industry Earl Grey tea. And this uh, ink is a um, uh, Colt Pens exclusive. So if you want that colored ink, you will need to buy it from cold pens because i don't think any other retailers will stock that ink 
The next pen ink top is the Mont Blanc uh, Le Petit France. Uh, this is the Solitaire Aviator Douay Edition. So we'll uh, do an, an ink swatch here. And still loving this brown ink that I've got in this pen. Flows really nicely with this nib. So this is the Mont Blanc. And it is uh, the uh, Le Petit Prince. There you go. I'm trying to do an R there when it was a P. So Le Petit Prince. And uh, this is the uh, Aviator. I'm just going to leave it there because I'm going to run out of space. It's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is uh, KWZ. And it's Newkey Brown or Newcastle Brown uh, for the Newcastle Brown Ale. It's a, a UK pen show exclusive. Uh, really uh, more so the uh, Newcastle pen show exclusive. Uh, but the UK pen shows do sell it at all of their pen shows. The next pen inked up is the Mont Blanc Homage to the Brothers Grimm. So... We'll do an ink swatch here. And I really should have gone with a black ink, but this grey Lux, when I put it in another pen, was so dark. So dark a grey, it was almost black. And I would say it probably is black. So this is uh, a Mont Blanc uh, Brothers Grimm. And it's a medium, and it's an 18 cat gold nib, and the ink in here is KWZ, and it's called Grey Lux. But I would say that that is more of a black ink, and if that was called Black Lux, then I probably still would have inked it up, um, but I think Grey, I think that was fine. The next pen inked up is the Mont Blanc Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and this is a 1902 edition. We'll do an ink swatch here. And again, this flows quite nicely. This is the Mont Blanc. And it's the Arthur Conan Doyle. And it's the 1902. Uh, it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Mont Blanc. And it's Toffee Brown, which I really haven't written with a lot in the last year or so. Um, but I decided I would bring it out because I wanted to put a Mont Blanc ink in a Mont Blanc pen. And uh, I thought that would be a good match. And I still think it is. The next pen inked up is the Queen's Jubilee. And uh, this is the Sterling Silver from Anoto. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now... This is becoming very, very low on ink, and I'm going to need to probably refill it because I love writing with this uh, nib and pen. So this is the Anoto, and it's the Platinum Jubilee in Sterling Silver. And it's a medium, and it's an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is diamine majestic purple but that is a, a very beautiful writing nib uh, really liking these uh, medium nibs from Anoto the next pen inked up is the Anoto uh, coronation in sterling silver So we'll do an ink swatch again. And again, this is another one that's running quite low on ink. And again, I probably will re-ink this one up. 
Although I am becoming a little bit more lower on this ink uh, in the bottle. So this is the Enoto uh, Coronation. And it's sterling silver. There you go. And this is the King's Coronation. It's got a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is, um, actually I want to say, I was just going to say it's diamine. It's not. It's a KWZ and it is Hawaii blue, which is uh, an ink that um, was a limited edition for Hippo Noto and uh, I don't believe you can buy it anymore. So uh, that is an ink when it when I run out, I run out. So um, I am using that ink up. The next pen inked is the Anoto, and this is the Magna Classic in uh, David Copperfield. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is a lighter gray ink. So this is the uh, Anoto, and it's the Magna classic David Copperfield and it is a uh, medium just double checking 18 cat gold nib and uh, the ink in here is um, KWZ uh, old smoke which uh, again, is a uh, UK uh, London pen show exclusive, but a very, very uh, nice uh, ink. The next pen inked up is the Anoto Great Roof Metallic Edition. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this has quite a lighter golder ink in here. And I was just wondering what that was, and it's just come to me. So this is an Anoto, and it's the Great Roof Metallic Edition. And it does have a medium 18 cat. It is 18 cat. Yes, it is. 18 cat gold nib. Just doubted myself then. Uh, and then the ink in here is uh, Robert Oster. And it's Aussie Gold. Which is a gold I didn't think I was going to like that much. But I am really liking that gold coloured ink. The next one inked up is an Anoto Magna Classic in the Chased Amber Pearl. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see here, it's quite a nice writing nib. It is a medium nib. So this is the Anoto. And I'm just going to abbreviate this to the Chased Amber Pearl. Otherwise, I will run out of space. And it's a medium. And it is an 18 count gold nib again. And uh, the ink in here is um, Herban Ambre de Bermany. But that, for me, is a nice autumn coloured ink. And uh, just thinking about the warm sort of tones and, and warmth of, of spring and summer coming up and autumn as well. And then the last pen inked up is the Anoto, and this is the Christmas Cow 2023 in silver gilding. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. And let's see if we can get that on camera a little bit. It is a, a nice, nice uh, silver uh, ink there. Um, so this is the Anoto. Christmas Cow 
uh, and it's the 2023 in silver gilding and trims it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and i do just need to double check the ink in here because the ink actually escapes me on this one that's an interesting one because i was thinking it was this ink but i was thinking it can't be surely this is a kwz and it is old smoke and the reason why i was doubting myself is because this is old smoke as well and that is a huge difference in color between those two uh nibs essentially so yeah i i will um i have to i have to remember that because i know you can get differences and i have seen it a lot between nibs and how they write depending on how light or dark but that is quite a difference so I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. So we have a Banu Euphoria Earl Grey Tea in a broad steel nib inked up with dominant industry Earl Grey Tea. We have a Mont Blanc Le Petit Prince Aviator in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Nuki Brown. We have a Mont Blanc Homage to Brothers Grimm in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Grey Lux. We have a Mont Blanc Arthur Conan Doyle 1902 in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc toffee brown. We have an Anoto Platinum Jubilee Sterling Silver in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamite Majestic Purple. We have an Anoto Coronation in Sterling Silver in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Hawaii Blue. We have an Anoto Magna Classic David Copperfield in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Old Smoke. We have an Anoto Great Roof Metallic Edition in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Robert Oster Aussie Gold. We have an Anoto Chased Amber Pearl in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Herban Amber de Bermany. And then we have an Anoto Christmas Cow and this is a 2023 uh, edition in uh, silver trim and silver gilding in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Old Smoke. So there you have it. That's my currently ink pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.